Alrighty. I just about have this ink rolled out here. I want a nice smooth coat because I'm going to do some ink transfer drawing. I'm going to put a sheet of paper over this ink and draw or rub on the back transferring that ink to the front. That looks good. Grab my piece of paper. Kind of line it up inside that rectangle of tape. Tape it down so it doesn't move around on me. And I think I'm going to do something pretty simple today. Kind of a little warm up. I've got tape with the ink inside that tape and I can feel the tape with my ballpoint pen here. So the ink is underneath this paper inside this rectangle. Somewhere. There it is. <laughs> you might notice a puppy just in the bottom edge of the screen every now and then. Her name is Cleo. Right now she's trying to get two toys in her mouth at once. Uh, something simple today. Or at least to start with today. I'm going to stick some flowers in a vase. So what I'm doing is transferring ink to the underside of this paper with a little pressure on this back side of the paper. You hear that thirsty little puppy drinking? <laughs> well, I think maybe I just, if that's enough flowers, maybe I just need some. Some foliage coming out of there. Thank you. 
build a little vase down underneath it. Uh, maybe I put one flower back in here too. Ooh, a little thunder. Maybe I should put everything on something. Put it on a little table. Open a little window up back here. Or maybe it's a mirror. You'll notice my hand is up in the air when I draw. If I rest my hand or touch the drawing, um, then I get a shadow. So I'm putting shadows down simply by Rubbing the back of this paper, transferring ink to the front. Maybe I'd see the back of that vase, huh? I can peek to see if I got everything I want. So <clears throat> part of me wants a little a couple little stripes. Mostly because I just want a little darkness down in there. I can peek, like I said, so I'm going to take a peek under here. Try and take a peek at the camera, too, see what it's doing. And I can put this back down if I really don't like it. But I would say that that works. I kind of thought it might. So look out, pup. Set this plate aside. Pup's name is Cleo. She's a little German Shepherd pup. Uh, so the question is, can I paint sideways? I think I can. 
Some of you will draw upside down or sideways, or uh, upside down or right side up. Sideways for drawing seems to be tough. Let's see if I can do it for painting. So, watercolor, kind of traditionally, is done by painting things from light to dark. Ooh, and the thunder's getting closer. So, stir up my orange just a little bit. Okay. Put the orange inside here, down there, yeah. So, and I think inside I'm going to paint that one orange. Maybe I'll take that out of there. Come back with some red. Cleo, by the way, is a pretty, pretty sweet little pup. I'm going to put a little more yellow out here. I wasn't really thinking. Uh, I think I want some yellow on some of this foliage and some of these leaves too. A little more yellow down in there. Rinse my brush. Load my brush with water, dunk it lightly in the turquoise, I think, and see if I can. And you'll notice that in places I miss a little bit of uh, the paper with the paint, the little sparkles of light. It's actually pretty intentional. Paintings that sparkle are kind of fun. And I'm getting a little bleed right there, that red bleeding into the blue, so I get a nice violet right there. There's our mirror. Let's put a frame on that mirror. That's dark. There we go. Little shadows. And while we're adding shadows, Let's, um, let's put a little shadow on the mirror. It's a little much right here, so we're going to bleed that down in there. Bleed that down in there. Yeah. Let's but we are dry. I hope we get some of this rain. I'm not sure I want the lightning. I'm in the Black Hills. Uh, my gallery studio is in the Black Hills, and um, I'm not even sure if I mentioned who I am. Um, 
anyway, we're pretty dry and forest fires could be an issue at any time. And by the way, my name is Mark Zimmerman and I'm here with the Sanford Arts a program that Sanford Hospital has to bring artists into the hospital. Normally, I am um, in the waiting room. Normally, I'm working with people in person. There we go. And normally, I have this set up so that if you wanted to try something, you could kind of work alongside me and Oh, that's a bit much. There we go. So, shadow down here too. This is a little different blue. I had a turquoise blue earlier. This is a phalo blue. Let's see if I can get that to lead up in here a little lightly. Just tone that white down just a touch. And then I need a wall color, don't I? We're going kind of dark down in here and lighter as I go up. In the paint I have, it is possible to get white watercolor. Most watercolor painters don't use this stuff and I'm not going to be using it today. Um, so the white that I, when I want to lighten something, essentially adding white, what I'm doing is adding Water. Water is kind of my white. So pick up some paint, pick up some water, miss the water, there we go. Pick up some paint, pick up some water. And I like that indigo, it's kind of a bluish violet. Kind of a shade of blue violet, so there's some black in it too, I think. Now, The only thing, yeah, the only thing left is to put a signature on that. I always sign them in pencil. I always sign them right side up. <laughs> um, So title, signature, and 2020. And if this is one you like, they're supposed to be available near where you're watching this video. And uh, you can take it home. They are free. You can take more than one, I suppose, if you're really greedy. Try not to be too greedy. But uh, help yourself and enjoy.